Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another reading. So this is going to be another read, and I'm basically using the same cards. I'm using my Daily Vibes cards today. Happy Monday again. So yeah, I just posted another reading, so you can check that one out too. Um, but yeah, these messages are extremely general, y'all. Just keep that in mind while watching. So, oh, and I'm still promoting, okay, I'm still promoting the three card pull readings. You got two options. You can do a general, that's whatever shows up for you. And you can do the finances and career reading. Um, so it's two options and it's $13.33. You can reach out to me directly by email. All of the information is in my description box. That information has not changed whatsoever. Um, but the sale prices like it's going to be pinned down below in the comment section so you can use the link tree link that's like your your first initial reach out to me if you want to use the link tree link every message sh should start off with a greeting like hi hello you can say good morning even though i don't say good morning but you can say good morning or whatever um i do not respond back to messages that just say i need a reading it's like okay well i need a greeting first i don't know um but yeah I would not respond back to you if you do not greet me because every message should start off with a greeting and a greeting and a message is like two separate things. A greeting is like within a message. So just keep that in mind too. Let's get a card out. Give me a card for the collective. Give me a card for the collective. What are they needing to hear? What important message? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna ask like what's coming towards y'all. What's coming towards the collective? What's coming towards the collective, please? So what's coming towards you is a big yes. This could be something that's like fear. Um, it's like, it could be something that you are fearful of, I guess you could say. But fear is a low vibration. So it's like whatever the fear is, it's just an illusion. That's what I put on the card too. So whatever this is, it's like, it's a yes at the end of the day. So it's some good, this could definitely be some good news. This could, this could even to be like news of approval. So let's see. Give me some insight on big yes. So why did big yes show up for the little perfect timing, divine timing? This could be something that you're manifesting because the fear card was showing up at the bottom, right? So this is letting me know that there's fear surrounding possibly, it's almost like you receiving your manifestations. And that's crazy because it's like, if you asking, if you asking the divine, the universe, however you want to put it for something, it's like, you need to believe that you will receive it, right? But there's like fear tied into it. So there's a need to be confident when it comes towards what it is that you're trying to manifest. Something about a question could be significant too. Like for some people, it's like maybe you ask a question and it's like maybe you could be afraid that you may get a no. So it's like rejection, but it's like, no, it's actually a yes. And it looks like you're going to be receiving this where it's happening in the um at the perfect time. So divine timing is definitely at work, okay? I'm going to use my, I'm going to use the Hoodoo Tarot. That's what I initially was trying to use in the first reading. I totally forgot and I just pulled one from this one from the last read. So give me some insight on Big Yes for the collective. What's this Big Yes about for the collective? So we have Father Sam showing up. We got Miss Ida. I feel like this big yes is like someone's confirmation in regards to possibly, um, this could even to be like a reconciliation, y'all. For some people, you could be reconciling with somebody. But I feel like with Father Sam showing up, it's giving like very much balance, peace, um, like a harmonious type of energy. So there's a yes surrounding that. Also, something in regards to like you blending your ideas with another person or other people could be significant too. So let's see what else comes out. But look, I feel like your intuition is telling you like, yes. So I feel like this confirmation for some people. Let's see. Tell me about big yes here for the collective. Oh, not really sure if someone received a channel message too. I don't know who needs to hear this, but like you could have received a channel message about something and it's like, maybe you could be waiting for confirmation or some clarity about it. It's actually a yes, but that's like very specific for some people. I don't know the full details on that, but so let's see. Tell me about big yes here for the collective. Why is this showing up for them for what's coming towards them? Why did big yes show up for what's coming towards them? 
So we got the Sun of Coins coming out. This could be in regards to some good news surrounding money, career. I feel like this is confirmation for a lot of people. It's like, let's just say you did start something new or this could be like a goal of yours. It's like you could be manifesting something new surrounding a, a new career, whatever the case is, whatever it is that you're doing because it's showing up where you may be like the student or the teacher. And it's a yes it's like a big thumbs up it's like you're doing a great job even though i do have that type of card but it didn't show up but we got the sun card coming out too there's a need to stay positive it's like try to keep a positive mindset when it comes towards um this could be something new that's coming in towards you but i don't know the full details on it i'm gonna see what else comes out what's this about tell me more about big yes for what's coming towards them Tell me about big yes for what's coming towards them. So nine of baskets coming out. I'm seeing a wish being fulfilled because we got a seven of baskets showing up here, which is the seven of cups. So it's like heavy on visualization. Something that you're daydreaming about, y'all. Dreams could be significant too. Because you know how that saying like what manifestation is like if you can hold it in your head, it's like you can hold it in your hand. That's what it's giving. So it's like heavy on imagination, you visualizing it. It's giving um visualize, affirm, and manifest. But it's like that's like you saying, hey, that's mine, or this is what I want, and you receive it. Um, baskets could be very significant too, or it's almost like what what it is that you're trying to manifest. It could be packaged up or in some type of basket or something of that sort. I don't know what that's about, but um, with the nine of um, cups coming out here, it's like a wish being fulfilled. Your manifestations coming to fruition. It's like you're super happy. You're super pleased. It's like this. You know how like if you ever manifested something, and I'm talking about um, no matter how long it took, when it finally, when you finally receive it, y'all, it's like the best moment. Sometimes you don't really realize that it done came through or whatever. But it's like when you sit back and realize it's like, hey, I manifested this. It's like you could definitely have like a smirk or a smile on your face. Like, for real, it's like a really good feeling. So, let's see. It's like what you were visualizing. It's like now you're actually living it or it's like actually happening. Give me some insight on divine timing. It's perfect for the collective. Tell me about divine timing. It's perfect for the collective. So we have this daughter of sticks and I believe this is the knight of wands. We got the three of swords at the bottom. This underlying energy that keeps showing up at the bottom is like, for some people, there could be some type of disruption when it comes towards like the mental. Cause it's like when it comes towards your dreams or the things that you're visualizing, you could be in your head a lot too. It's like your head could be in the clouds, right? But it's like giving um when people are manifesting or like the slang for like manifesting is like being delusional so there's this energy to where it's like you may be feeling like you are going to give up on what it is that you're trying to manifest or something that you're dreaming about right but there's a need to not give up on it you could be kind of disappointed because it's like maybe your head was in the clouds about it but it's actually coming to fruition but it looks like there's some type of action being taken too. But there's a need to keep going. It's like, don't stop. There could be a need to trust your instincts too um, when it comes towards possibly taking action towards something. But let's see. But it looks like some type of movement or action is being taken at the right divine timing. It's almost like, let's just say you're being guided or you see some type of sign, right? About taking action towards something or about doing something. Because it looks like this figure has like a big um wand in their hand so whatever it is it's like the universe is working in your favor but there's a need to be confident and self-assured about this action that you could be about to take so let's see for some people you could be setting off on a journey at the right divine timing too because it's kind of giving like cowgirl <laughs> look this energy is giving like cowgirl vibes but you know how like when a cowboy or a cowgirl set off on their journey or something um it's like they get to their destination or they get to where they need to go at the the perfect timing i don't know something about it could be significant too even like cow print that's what i'm picturing it's like cow print could be significant too or like those cow 
Um, and I actually like them type of rugs too, but it kind of look like a, um, it has like a very, um, different type of shape, but it's actually a rug and it looks like it's like a cow print type of situation. So that, that could be significant, significant for some people too. Let's see what else comes out. Tell me about divine timing is perfect for the collective. Tell me about divine timing is perfect for the collective. Why is it showing up for them? So we have this daughter of knives coming out. Yeah, when it comes to where it's like intuitive messages, y'all, do not, I feel like too, spirit is saying, don't doubt your connection to the divine. Like, do not doubt your dreams, your visions, like things that you could be thinking about too. Um, for some people, you could be like clairvoyant. That could be significant too. But yeah, try not to doubt your connection to the to the divine. We got the free man showing up here too at the bottom. So it looks like for some people, you could be about to partake on a new journey, a new beginning, right? That's what it looks like. Let's see. But it kind of looks like too, possibly uh, for some people, because it's kind of given with the free man, it looked like the person done left or they done checked out. <laughs> Listen, and I'm not trying to make fun of like mental health, but like I do be making jokes though about it, but not be like dead serious because sometimes people are not are they don't really take mental health serious. But um it looked like the person is being checked out or it's, it's like their last day in some type of like psych ward. So it could be even to like mental restriction, like you restricting yourself. It's like you, it's almost like a person literally tying yourself up in one of those like stray jackets, even though that's like impossible to do. It's like somebody else has to do that, but it's almost like that's what's going on mentally. Hopefully that makes sense y'all. But anyway, let me move on. Give me some insight on this divine timing is perfect. Cause I don't like really talking about that type of stuff because I was actually shown something to where it's like, um, and this was on two occasions too, where it's like somebody was trying to put somebody in um, a psych war. It's like they set it up when a person is like, it's nothing wrong with them mentally. And I just thought that was like really messed up. I saw that on two separate occasions. And that actually be happening to some people too. It's like people try to write you off as crazy or they set something up to where it's like you got you got to go to the psych ward. That's crazy. But anyway, let's see. Tell me about divine timing is perfect for the collective, please. Tell me about divine timing is perfect. Oh, y'all, I forgot to keep this card out, but it came out again. I'm going to just clarify it really quick. But now I had already showed this and we got the three of coins coming out too. Something something good could be manifesting when it comes towards like work, career. This is giving like possibly new um, career opportunities or you starting something new. My car start a business was showing up in a previous read too. So it's like, for some people now, it's like now could be, or like within the next few months could be a perfect time to start a new business or to start something new when it comes towards your goals, a new career. But either way, it's gonna happen at the right divine time. So, and it's most definitely something, and I ain't trying to get in nobody business or whatever. I can't read people's minds, but it looks like it's something that you're manifesting. So whether you thinking about it um, or intentionally trying to manifest it, it's happening either way. It's like once you start visualizing something or thinking about something, um, it's like the ball can, like starts rolling or things start um, moving into motion about your, your thoughts and the things that you could be um, visualizing in your head. So... I'm actually going to end the read here, you guys. This one was kind of short, but... Oh, no, I, I mentioned I was going to clarify. I almost forgot. Let me see. I'm going to clarify this night. Um, what is it? The Daughter of Sticks. Tell me about this Daughter of Sticks for the Collective, please. Tell me about this Daughter of Sticks for the Collective. Ooh, okay. Look, seven of coins coming out. So this is in regards to investments, y'all. It's like you seeing the fruits of your labor, right? But it's almost like for some people, um, you may be experiencing some form of like stagnation, but it's kind of given like your season though, because you know how like even when it comes towards like crops or the like the seeds that you planted, right? It's like, you know, um, to be realistic, it's like things may not take off right away. 
but eventually it's like you're going to be seeing some type of fruit from the seeds that you planted that's what it looks like and for some people you could be moving in silence too about um some new seeds that you're planting or some things that you um have done so far like if you did invest in yourself it's like nobody else knew but you so something about that could be significant too because it kind of looks like she's watching out to see if anybody sees like her stash or something or what it is that she doing it's like you may have a secret recipe or you could be doing something that you don't want nobody else to see you doing when it comes towards your um like the things that you put a lot of time energy into so that's what it's looking like and I'm actually in a read here for real this time. Um, thank you very, very much for watching.